So Rick, pila ka oras pa tagi kan diri sa sa bangan campsite pa to sa peak 3 to 4 hours. Ah, okay. Si siguro kaya ano na to sa 3 and a half, no, 3 and a half. Ano na to? 3 All right. Well, I'm embarking on a very different experience from what I'm used to. I'm I'm, I'm climbing a mountain, of course, but this is a new experience because uh, I'm all alone. I'm in Mindanao. I'm going to be climbing uh, a new mountain that is for me and relatively new to the mountaineering community. It's called Mount Kiamo. This is basically uh, ancestral domain and uh, my guide is over there looking for a porter to accompany us because uh, there's no water on the campsite that we're going to it's going to be on the peak itself so since there's no water there we have to load a lot of water so i decided that we will need a porter to accompany us so this jump off for mount kiamo mount kiamo is actually in front of me uh, it's called laao campsite and this is in barangay kanayan here in malay balay Pitnon. We are about to start our trek to first to Sabangan to the base camp over there and eventually to the peak of Mount Kiamo. So ito si Rick. Hi Rick. Hello. At si Barley. Hi Barley. Hello. Yan yung mga gigiting kong mga guides. Super. That's where we're going. Now I'm trying to ask myself, am I, am I serious about this? <laughs> it looks kind of imposing. Kakaya rin ko ba yan? Rick? Kaya ko yan, Rick? Ano Rick, sa palagay mo, kaya ko yan? Kaya. Oo, oh, hindi. Pinaparinig ko lang sa vlog. <laughs> ano, Barley, kaya ko ba yan? So, bababain namin yung river. And then we're going to cross that. And then after that, we would have reached the Sabangan base camp. Usually that's where people uh, pitch their tents and do a day hike to the summit early in the morning. Here we are, crossing the river. So, swerte natin hindi masyadong mapasa ng big. Kaya kaya tawarin. It's actually clear. I've seen videos where the water is is brown, totally brown. So, kani ang Kibalabag o Tagulawan River. So, ma-notice niyo Duhanga River siya. Ah, Bisayan. So, if you notice, there are two rivers, Kibalabag and Kadulawan River. So, those two rivers meet at this nexus. Mayong udto. And this is the home of the tribal chieftain. So his name is Well G, and this is his home. And so we registered here. Really nice. So these are the rules for entering the ancestral domain. This is it. This is the Sabangan campsite. Maybe 30 minutes lang kami umaakyat no? and 
yung elevation gain namin from Sabangan campsite is 170 meters na sobrang lakas kasi ng mga, ng mga guides ko so napipilitan ako, napupush ako uh, so andito pa rin tayo sa so, siguro one third of the way to the peak first time ko dito and kahit cloudy, kahit medyo maulan nag enjoy kami salamat alright, kaalis na namin ng camp 1 so andito na tayo sa part ng Kiamo where there are a lot of pine trees but I asked my guides kung native yung pine trees dito sabi nila, dito pero tinanim yan daw dito uh, pero matagal na that's why alalaki na nila but still they look very much part of the terrain and ang ganda ang ganda tingnan sa so, diretsong paakyat itong trail sa Kiamo walang pahinga no, maiksi lang siya pero Ganito. It's uh, uphill from Sabangan all the way. Yes. So, kita mo, nag-iiba na naman yung foliage sa bundok. Kanina, grass naging grass and pine ngayon naging fern so ito nagbago na naman yung features yung terrain meron ng mga small trees aside from the fern so nagbago na naman yung flora dito sa pundok Wala nang malilit na puno. Medyo medium size na sila. As you can see, mas mataas na sa tao yung mga puno. Kailangan tarik. Yes, pwedeng umupo dito. So, eto na siya. No? This is called the Nepenthes pulchra. It's a pitcher plant. Pulchra is Latin for beautiful and I know why they named it that. It's, it's actually very pretty, as you can see. So, ito yung mga remnants ng Nepenthes pulchra or yung pitcher plant. As you can see, medyo nalanta na sila, namatay na. The reason is that they're right along the trail. And of course, tourists who come here, they're very curious. And they touch it. But as you can see, I, I can't blame them in the sense that, you know, they're very curious and they're very uh, interested in what's on the trail, something different, something new. And as you can see, th these are some of the biggest pitcher plants that you'll ever see here in the Philippines. <laughs> it has a really, really big pitcher itself and uh, the mouth is quite large, it can fit an animal. And also, uh, the length, it's probably 8 inches, it's 8 inches tall. And the reason, the guide said, the reason they're dead is because they get touched often. Uh, when this opened, this mountain opened to tourists uh, over a year ago. They're all along the trail. And dami daw nila along the trail. Pero ngayon kumonti na because I suppose the plants got shy and uh, retreated deeper into the forest and out of the trail. But here they are. Oh wow, look at the size of that thing. Oh my god. I'm gonna put something there just to reference the size. All right, that is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Look at the size of that picture plant. Ganda niya. This is so beautiful. No wonder it was called Nepenthes Pochra. It's so beautiful and it's so large. In contrast to the other one, look at the size of this one. It's no bigger than my index finger. Why sad? Is it a bit? Samit na tadabit. Campsite ito. Ah, layo layo pa di ay. So yun ay campsite namin. Dito na kami. Takas na namin. Like we're hovering over Malay Balay City. Galing. Tarik yung trail. And that's why we have this really great vantage point. Ganda. Wow. Here we are. This is it. 
it's it's, it's 3:48 in the afternoon ano? just under 4 hours yung trekking time namin and nandito na kami sa campsite ng Mount Kiamo this is actually a peak uh, nakakabit siya sa, sa bundok sa likod ko pero mas mataas yun pero wala daw pang trail doon hindi pa nila na nabubutas it's uh, just a little after 5 in the afternoon and nakabis na kami at nakapag soup na kami ng mga guides ko so I pitched my tent over there and their tarp is over there at the corner so, kahit yung mga guides ko naninibago, sabi nila, because when, usually when they're here, there are so many tents and there are so many people, so they're actually quite surprised by the peace and quiet. I decided to climb the mountain on a Thursday, this is a Thursday afternoon, when uh, I knew that there were, wouldn't be a lot of people, because this is essentially a solo expedition, this is a solo climb. Gusto ko makapag-isip, no? And uh, I want to be just be occupied by my own thoughts. I, I haven't done this in a while and uh, I'm glad that I decided to do it. <laughs> so it's looking promising. The views are great here. I know that there will be a, 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 a surprise tomorrow morning and I can't wait. So, ulam namin, Rini Pear, Rini Pear ni Rick. <laughs> Ako lang gumawa ng pre-cooking sa Manila at pero si, si Rick ang nag-finishing dito sa bundok. Manila. <laughs> 5.30 na and uh, umaambod pa rin. So, kung pang walang sea or clouds, walang clearing. Malas. Pero... Okay lang. Ang gandang exercise naman to. Magandang umaga. Ito ang view ngayon namin dito sa summit. Sa pinaka peak na Mount Kiamo. Unfortunately, wala pang clearing. So, I'm claiming it na magkakaroon ng clearing mamaya. Umambun kasi uh, a few times during the night and during the early morning. Andiyan pa rin yung sea of clouds as you can see. Uh, hindi ko na makita yung um, dulang-dulang kitang land rage. Ano? Pero kanina nagpakita siya. Uh, it's 8.09 in the morning and we are about to start our trek. Gusto ko lang magpasalamat uh, sa mga ideas na nakuha ko on the internet. And salamat syempre dun sa mga guides ko. Si Barley tsaka si uh, Rick na sinamahan nila ako dito. Yun, so this was my solo trek. 8 o'clock, nasa loob na ako ng tent. Hindi kakaroon daw nakatulog, pero nakapag-isip-isip ako. Ang dami kong ginawa. So, ngayon, medyo umaambon, pero gusto ko lang magpasalamat. Rick, huwag barley. Uh, picture tayo. One, two. Ayan, so sila yung sumama sa akin dito. Buti na lang, nakahanap ako ng sasama. Otherwise, hindi ko naman gagawin to kung walang kasama. No? Kahit na mag-isa, kailangan safe pa rin. So, nagkumuha ng mga local guides. Taga dito sila, kung if you need a guide sa Kalatungan, dulang-dulang, hanapin nyo si Rick sa Facebook, Uncle Guide. <laughs> so, yun. That was a great experience here on Mount Kiamo. Uh, I will never forget it. So, yun. So, praying for our safe descent. Sana nandun kami sa baba by before 12. Salamat. Wow, look at that. Doon kami galing in an hour and a half. Andito na kami. Parang ang bilis ng pagbaba namin.
So, just over two hours, nakababa na kami from the campsite on the peak of Mount Kiamo. Andito na kami ulit sa sa Bangan campsite. Yung imbahay ni Datu at yung river na tatawirin namin. So, nagswell yung river ng konti compared to yesterday. So, pinili namin yung widest part of the river. Dito kami tatawid kasi this is also the quietest part. Yes, it's 11.30 in the morning. So, uh, the entire trek took us 3 hours, about 3 hours and 15 minutes. Andito na ako sa Laao campsite. Uh, tomorrow, there's going to be an event here. That's why they're preparing. Uh, I wish I could stay, but I'm going to go to another place. But uh, yeah, so thank you very much, Amo, for this unique experience. Thank you very much, Bukidnon. You know, uh, not a lot of people from Manila would do something like this. In fact, people from Manila would sometimes come here to Bukidnon to climb Kalatungan uh, and, and Kitanglad, Dulang Dulang, but not a minor mountain like this. But you know, I just, I just wanted to do a solo hike and uh, get some peace and quiet and I achieved that so I'm really really happy I'm gonna change well I'm gonna take a bath I'm gonna change and then head to Balingoan thank you thank you